what could go wrong in a trailer park bonfire. We're out there today, you know, doing a little swimming, getting in the water in the hole, cooling off and everything. But I'm first one in like a bullet, heading toward the water, jump up in the air, curl, perfect form. I'm a cannonball. Splash hit the water, beautiful thing. Nobody's seen nothing like it. Then Buddy Duke, he's behind me. He comes in, he's like, I'm an anchor. And boy, he hits the water, just sinks, you know, and then comes back up, you know, whatever. And then people just start hollering everything. I'm a bricklayer. I'm Mary Lou Retton. I'm a fireball. I'm a cup of noodles. I'm a stray dog. I'm a candy bar. Well, I'm a cat hernia. I'm a Chevy. I'm a Ford. I'm Brooks and Dunn. You know, they're just saying all kinds of things. And later, we, when we get the bonfire going, that's when we light everything on fire, just whatever you find, usually tires, but wood, that kind of thing. People kind of milling about, and there, there's, some purple, there's some purple men's underwears on the ground. And I know all of a sudden, I know for sure it wasn't mine. And the other thing I did know is that it was my brother Brett's. And boy, somebody gets that underwears up on the stick, and they're like, who's purple underwears? We know somebody's. And people started laughing and hooting and hollering. And all the time, boy, I got an ace in my pocket. I know whose underwear it is. Because I've seen Brett running around a trailer in them things. And uh, he's over there, and he's got his arm around this gal that I guess it's his girlfriend this week. And uh, he ain't saying nothing. And I said, well, I don't know whose them underwears are. Whose underwears could they be? Brett kind of shot me and stared like, boy, you better not. Like I gave him a grin like, maybe I will, maybe I won't, you know. And so. I just thought, well, let's see what they do. And they kind of paraded around like a little flag. Boy, everybody's laughing at it, and somebody dangling in their face, and everybody's like, don't, you get that away from me. I don't want no underwear, because people were trying to eat. And uh, he's probably thinking the whole time, well, as soon as all this dies down, you know, they'll toss it off to the side, and I'll, I'll grab it so I can go home. Because I know, for a fact, that's his favorite pair of underwear. At least if you, if you judge somebody's underwear on how much you've seen them in it. So Buddy says, if these ain't nobody's, let's get rid of them. And everybody says, woo, that's a good idea. And I thought for a minute, boy, they're going to throw these underwears of Brett's in the water, and he's going to have to fish them out later. But it took a different direction all of a sudden, and Buddy says, see you later, underwear. And I just heard the pop, pop, pop of the fire, and I seen them little purple undies tossed right in the middle of that bonfire where people are dangling marshmallows and hot dogs over it, and it just gets burned up. I mean, it's gone. Bye-bye purple underwear. I told them later in the trailer, look at it this way, Brett. You turn, that little purple underwear that you lost turned around and made a whole trailer park bonfire happy. He didn't seem to care nothing about that. So if you're heading out into the water and you want to be by the fire, boy, hold on to your underwears. We'll see you later.